my name's Sean Wright. I really love using my iPhone 4S for the video capabilities. I've got a video camera and I've got a regular camera with a video function, but I tend to use my iPhone a lot more when I'm out doing stuff. For instance, my son is a Cub Scout and they just had a parade the other day and I was out videotaping a lot of it. So I'm holding this thing and I'm holding it up and I'm running around, I'm trying to get shots. And once I got the video back, it was, it was pretty shaky, so I was looking for ways to make or to buy an image stabilizer. Well, if you go online, it's going to cost you a lot of money. But I did find some guys who were doing some DIY stuff that looked pretty interesting. So I thought I'd come up with my own version and share it with you. And maybe you could come up with even a better version. So this is what I came up with. It's just an H. But what I've got here is some pieces made out of PVC pipe. I've got one of these universal holders to hold the phone and um, I can hold it by my hand here or I can hold it up here if I wanted to drop it down lower. So all that really happens is I take my phone and I place it in that holder. See how I put it here and there's the lens so that uh, I could get a shot of everybody. I've also got a bubble level on top so that even though the phone might not be in here correctly I can keep that horizon correct. Let me flip it over upside down. See, and there's the phone, or it would actually be this way, so that when the uh, phone is on and we're doing the video, you'll be able to see me. How's that? So here you go. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this, put it together. It's really pretty easy to do. And then at the end of this, we'll go shoot some video outside. All right, what I've got here is I bought a four foot section of PVC pipe. And in this particular case, I got the three quarter inch size. I went ahead and cut it down into eight inch sections for the handles and then a 13 inch section for the main bar. Now, what the reason why I chose 13 inches was I'm trying to get it close to what the handle uh, width or the steering wheel width on my car is. That seemed to be pretty comfortable for me. You might want to bring it in a little less. So I already cut them down. And in this case, you'll notice I went ahead and mounted this iPhone grippy style universal mount. I bought this at Radio Shack for about 20 bucks. It's grip it. You could use anything that you can find. We're also going to glue this together using uh, just regular glue. Now this is PVC pipe and if you've got some of that uh, PVC pipe glue, feel free to use that. In this case, since we're not running water through it, it's not going to make that big of a difference. Also I have four end caps to make it look a little nicer and two three quarter inch tees. And to finish it off, we've got a line level that I got at Harbor Freight for about a buck or two dollars um, that we'll use to level this up. So let's go ahead and assemble this. If you notice what I did here was I went ahead and mounted this to the pipe. I just screwed it right in. In this case, it, it was easy to attach. You might have to rig this up a little bit more, but it's on there pretty good. I used a couple of uh, screws, self-tapping screws. We're going to take this and we're going to put the T the joints on each end. All right, we've got that there. We'll take the handlebars and we'll put those on each section. Now I'm not going to glue it up just yet. Um, we'll have to do a dry fit first. Put it on each section. <clears throat> To make this look a little nicer, let's go ahead and put the caps on it. Now, there we have it. That's our piece. We can hold it on the bottom, we can hold it on the top. We've got all sorts of different options. We'll take our phone, <clears throat> we'll mount it in here. And squeeze it and it fits just perfect. Now obviously one of the big problems about this is you might not want to uh, you know, might not be able to keep this level. So we'll take this nice little line level and we're going to glue it right here right to the bottom of this so that when you hold it up you'll be able to see it see if it's level or not. So that's it pretty straightforward. As you can see I've got my image stabilizer all glued up and what I've done, instead of leaving this bare, I've decided to go ahead and wrap the edge with some bicycle tape. Now you can get this bicycle tape 
gosh, most anywhere. Bicycle stores, obviously, probably at Walmart and some places like that. This is what I bought. I bought the specialized S-Wrap cork. Now, this cost me about $15, and this might be out of your price range or what you want to deal with, but you can probably get them at all price points. So, I've wrapped this side, just like you do a bicycle handlebar. I started at the top, overlapped it, and stair-stepped it all the way down, uh, kind of like a shingle, like you do on the roof. At the bottom, I've got a piece of tape to hold it on. So, let's do this side. Again, we're going to start at the top. Wrap it around. We're pulling it tightly as we do this. So let's start overlapping all the way down. I'm overlapping about halfway so it doesn't get too thick in places. And besides, we don't want it to come apart later. All right, I'm going to bump it up to this little uh, cap at the bottom. Get my scissors. I'm going to trim it off. Now, in a lot of cases, it'll come with a, a pre-cut piece of tape to uh, tape it up. Or if you want, you can just use electrical tape. We'll do that here. I'm going to wrap it all the way around so I don't so I get rid of that little edge there. And I could probably pull it if I wanted to, but I'm just going to tr cut it like that. Clean it up. And there you have it. Got my two handles. It's all nice and bunched up. Now the beauty of this was that was just one roll of tape. I've got another roll of tape. I might go ahead and do the top as well. Well, I said we were going to go outside and take some video and show you how to use this, but it's very windy, blustery, ambulances were going by. I just gave up on that. So I brought you to the kids' playroom. So quickly, what I mentioned earlier was I was shooting video at the Christmas parade for my kids' uh, Cub Scout pack. And I'm running around with this phone, and I'm moving it, and I'm shaking it, and I'm scared I'm going to drop it, and I'm always worried I'm going to put my finger in front of the lens, just like my mom always did. So I thought there's got to be a better way. I went on the internet, found uh, a couple of ideas about how to put together a steady cam, or what I've been calling an image stabilizer, and we came up with uh, this H. So <clears throat> how you use it, you lock in your phone, you hold the bottom ones, and you just pan around, reduces shake, it makes it so much easier. Now, the beauty about the H is you can grab it by the top and get a different perspective. You can actually reach down low and get a lower shot. And if you want to get a higher shot, we'll just grab the ends and raise it on up. Can't beat that. So that's my idea. I hope you liked it. If you've got an improvement on this, I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching.